Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial we are working on part five of our poncho. I mean look at that. There are so many rows. It's going to keep you very busy guys. <laughs> it's not just the rows that will keep you busy. It's the time it takes to do each row now. So um, the poncho is getting bigger so the rows will take a little bit longer to do. But how gorgeous does it look oh and the actual stitch itself it's kind of like a window pane look um i did actually adjust it to suit me because i wasn't really happy with the way the original turned out so that's probably why it's taken a bit longer <laughs> that and of course each row takes a lot longer to complete now look at that oh i can't even fit it in my board <laughs> for this tutorial you will need your um, hook that you've been using all along, your scissors, your darning needle and two stitch markers. One is over here which is sitting there and you will need to weave in those ends which I haven't done yet. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, but there you go guys, this is a very long tutorial so I'm not going to talk too much. Have a look at that. There you go guys, I'm going to let you get on with part five of your Rustman Vibrations Poncho. Good luck guys. Alrighty guys, so where I left you off um, in part four was we slip stitch to join and I think we chained one. We're going to take that undone because we want to slip stitch with our new colour. Alright, so we're taking it right undone and just pretend like we're slip stitching as normal. Grabbing a new colour, I'm going to use the dark green. It's a little bit, I'm oh, sorry, I hope I'm not yelling in the camera there. It's a little bit strong for me, but I'm going to use it. I find it really bold colour for what we're doing here at the moment having said that it's part of it all so we're going to use it okay so just grab that tail so it's not too long beautiful keeping your cream intact because we're going to use that again next row chaining one and then a single crochet in that very same stitch uh, right there well, actually make sure you pull that cream i found that a little loose there the cream and i'm going to actually crochet over that first part of the tail of the green one and I might crochet within the next see I've actually pulled that thread let's give it a nice tug that's better yep nice and closed good now single crochet in your very next stitch now you've done this row before guys this is a repetitive row of single crochets so go ahead and do your single crochets all the way across until you get to that very first corner right there very first corner you come to all right so whoops that didn't close it's one of those stitch markers playing up on me again all right so just keep going until you get to your first corner and i shall meet you up all right here we are at the end of the row guys let's get a nice close up now you've done all this before so we're just going to do it again single crochet in your next until you get to your corner and there's your corner take out your stitch marker Single crochet three, one, two, and three in the corner, chaining one and two, and single crocheting three again, all in that corner. All right, easy. Two and three. And there you go. Move that over. That stitch right there. That is a stitch, single crochet in there. One, two, I'm not even going to bother counting. <laughs> if you really want to get pedantic, you can count. Um, but all we're doing is single crocheting all the way across the row. Okay, now all I want you for you to do, see how easy this row is, is single crochet in your next, all the way into your next corner. Do your single crochets in the corner and then go all the way back to did we not put a stitch marker in? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I've started without, with already not putting those stitch markers in. Oh, dear. Too early on a Monday morning for me, guys. There you go. So pop a stitch marker in that first single crochet that you did. Hello. And I don't know if I've taken it out or if I put it. I can't even remember what I did. But there you go. <laughs> Do your single crochets all the way around. Three, two, three in the corner. Get to your last spot right here. Where that stitch marker is <laughs> i shall meet you up all righty here i am at the end of the row 
popping a single crochet in my last stitch so you can probably see that separating a little bit because that thread just needs a little tug now when we slip stitch it that will need a tug again all right so what we're going to do pop your hook in your um, stitch marker stitch and take out that stitch marker if you like now before pulling your thread through remember what are we going to do we're going to tighten that cream stitch a tiny little bit and pull the cream through and pull it through to the loop on your hook chaining one two and three so before we continue and grab that stitch marker so you don't do a mary <laughs> that's what i'm going to call it doing a mary when we forget to put the stitch marker in dear me all right so grab your stitch marker pop it in all right so now we're going to chain one this is a double crochet that we are in at the moment so we're going to skip the next stitch and jump into the next one all right so that's where we are skip that one jump into your next one with a double crochet one and then one in your next two and again your next three and four and five Alrighty, chain one skip one jump into your next with a double crochet one one in the next two three four and five chain one skip and so on so that is pretty much all you're doing for this row you are doing five double crochets chain one skip five double crochets doing that all the way across until you get to this corner right here okay what you can do though get to about oh i don't know three or four stitches beforehand i think it lands at about three stitches before i can't remember the pattern it's been a while since i've looked at it but it'd be roughly just before uh, the corner so roughly around there as roughly as you can get now um before you go on what you're going to do first is you're going to do what mary never does and that's cut that green thread you won't be using that for a very long time so continue in that manner and i shall meet you up in a moment Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of the row. I'm going to take my stitch marker out. Okay, I've done my last five, let's get a nice close up here. I've done my last five double crochets. I'm going to chain one and two, skip over as many single crochets as I, as I can and just popping, I was going to put a single crochet there, just popping a double crochet in your last stitch before the corner. There you go, like that. And now put in the corner itself two double crochets one two chain one and two and two double crochets one and two and again you're going to put a double crochet in that very first stitch now you have to move your stitches over to find that one right there yes now chaining one and two you are skipping one two and you're jumping into your third with your double crochets so you're doing your five double crochets across one two three four five chain one and then oh skip one i nearly put it in there didn't i dearie me one two three four and five chain one skip one and keep going all the way across until you get to all right let's have a quick look first at the corner now Again, I sorted the corner out so that actually, oops, sorry, so that actually you could fudge it, okay? So the same, this is why I say, you know, fudging sometimes works. Here, you've got your three across. There, you may not, okay? Or here, you may and there, you may not. It, it depends. But at this stage, as long as you go three across, we can work it out at the end with fudging. So don't stress too much about it if it doesn't match up. And it's 
the reason I say that is because when you wear this, one is worn in front, one is worn in the back. Nobody knows whether it's a little bit shorter or a little bit longer in each side, right? As long as it's neat at the points. And that is your main thing when it comes to ponchos. Try not to fudge. <laughs> if you can, you can get away with it. Then try not to. Um, but still, you know, it's, it's worth trying if there's something wrong and you can't work it out. So now continue along that way. Get to, I don't know, three or four stitches before the corner. Again, three or four, doesn't matter either way. And I shall meet you up. Alrighty, guys, here I am at the end of the row. I've done my last five double crochets. And by the looks of it, this corner is a tiny little bit smaller than the other one. But again, we're talking about fudging. It doesn't matter. We're chaining one and two. Take that stitch marker out. All right. And now what you're doing, remember, we are putting a double crochet in the very last, oh, if I can get that in there, that would be good, <laughs> the very last stitch of your row. Okay, like that. And now put in the corner itself two double crochets, one, two, chain one and two, and two double crochets. One and two. In that very first stitch, right there, snuck in that corner, make sure you get it. You are putting a double crochet, chain one and two, and then you're going to skip one and two, and in that very third single crochet right there, you are putting a double crochet, and then you are keep going across with your double crochets. Well, that wasn't very good English, was it? <laughs> Just keep going across one, two, three, four, <laughs> and five. I'm tired already, guys. It's only like, you know, first thing in the morning, and I'm tired. <laughs> Chain one. Hello, Mary. Skip one and jump into your next and do your five double crochets as well. All the way across. Three, four, and five. Chain one, hold it before you continue. All right, now from here to your next stitch marker, from that very first double crochet that we did there to there should be 75 uh, single crochets. All right, that's including that one, all right, for it to marry up. Now, if it doesn't fit, come back, take it all undone, Come back here and move it over one or move it forward one, depending on how it doesn't fit. But it must be even up here, all right? It doesn't matter if it's a tiny little bit out in that corner, okay? So um, when you get to here, you should be able to do four double crochets and then slip stitch to that one. But let's go ahead and continue um, and meet me back up here at your next stitch marker in a moment. Alrighty guys, here we are at the end of the row. These three chains here will classify as the last double crochet in your set from this row, from the end of the row, okay? So I've got my five there, chained one, skipping one, and I'm putting four across only. One, two, three, and four because those three chains will classify as your fifth when you slip stitch it. Okay, so we are going to slip stitch it right now. Pop your hook in, pull a loop through, and pull it through to the loop on your hook. We'll take out that stitch marker. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so there we are. We are going to repeat this round. However, it's not going to be repeated exactly as is. We're going to chain one, two, and three. Pop your stitch marker in. All right, so we are going to repeat this round again, but not in the same spaces. So yarn over your hook. In that space there, that chain space, you're going to put a double crochet right around the whole space, like so. Easy, yeah? Move it over a bit. Now you're going to put a double crochet in that stitch there. So there's one in there a double crochet in your next stitch two that's not where the pattern starts the pattern starts from now okay so you're chaining one skip your first one 
jump into your next with a double crochet jump into your last stitch there with a double crochet jump into your space with a double crochet jump into that next stitch the first stitch you come to that is with a double crochet and jump into your second stitch with a double crochet all right so what you've done is you have moved your chain space in the middle of your clusters here hard to explain but i'll explain it again you're chaining one you're making a new space skip one jump into your second last stitch one jump into your last stitch two jump into your space three jump into the first stitch of this set four jump into the second stitch of this set five chain one skip that middle one jumping to your second last all right i'm sure you're getting that picture but we'll do it again second last double crochet in your last double crochet in your space double crochet in your first double crochet in your second now if it confuses you to do it like that do it the way i said it before skip one two three four five skip one two three four five like we were doing in the previous round but remembering to put your chain and to skip your middle stitch of that previous set i hope that makes sense all right so just keep going all the way across the row super easy it's just a little bit more you have to concentrate more with where you're putting your stitches here that's all all right so i'm in the middle again i'm chaining one skipping that middle stitch jumping into the second last stitch and so on i'm not going to go any further because i don't want to confuse you but i would like for you to do that all the way across until you get to that very say the middle of that last cluster set where you're ready to put your chain get there and meet me there all right Alrighty, here I am at the end of the row guys. I'm just going to take out that stitch marker. I've done my last five double crochets. Okay, I'm going to chain one, skip the middle one, do the last two, which is one, two. Now, if you remember correctly, we put two chains in there in the previous round before the corner. So you're going to pop two double crochets in there. That's three and four. Your fifth one goes in that very first stitch you see there. Okay. Then you are chaining one and two. Okay. Now we're going to pop a double crochet in your corner. One. And a second one. Two. And now you're chaining one and two. You're putting two more double crochets in that corner. One and two. And now we're doing exactly the same that we did here we are chaining one and two and see how we put a double crochet right in that last stitch there i nearly couldn't find it so where did we put it <laughs> there it is so we're popping it in that stitch right there yes and then we are popping remember the two chains we did here we're popping two double crochets in there one and two and then we are popping one and two in your next two stitches then you're going to chain one skip your middle one and start your pattern again one two your third one goes in your space three then you've got a fourth one there a fifth one chain one skip your first i'm sorry skip your middle pop into the second last one last two space three first fourth second fifth oh, that doesn't make sense does it <laughs> but you know what i meant <laughs> i'm sure you did sure you worked the pattern out all right let's have a quick look see at the pattern gorgeous <laughs> so there you go all right so guess what guys i don't think you need me to show you this what i need you to do continue the whole pattern 
until you get to this last space right here and wait for me there now this corner here is exactly the same oh i've got the wrong side oh, wake up mary <laughs> this corner here do it exactly the same as this because now everything matches up so that corner is exactly the same as that corner get to this stitch right here and i shall meet you up all righty guys here we are at the end of the row i've done one two three four five chaining one skipping one and then going into our next set one two three which is the one in the space let me take that stitch marker out three four and five okay chain one you're skipping that one you're going into your very last space with a double crochet okay that's one two three four five so what you're going to do because you're right in the middle of it you're just going to slip stitch into your stitch marker okay so slip stitch across now we're going to have to change where we start in this round okay because the pattern is going to change and right up here there should be three double um sorry three double crochets try three chains but you won't know that yet all right so all we're going to do is slip stitch into the very next stitch one slip stitch into your next stitch two and slip stitch into your very last stitch three all right now you've got that space there what we're going to do now is chain one two and three uh, grab your stitch marker i hope i put that in right <laughs> i thought i might have split the yarn there all right now in that space because the pattern is changing in this round so be wary in that space we are putting a double crochet one and in the next stitch we're also putting a double crochet two right so initially you have one two and three double crochets now you are chaining three one two three and you are skipping one two three and in your last stitch you are putting a double crochet one one in the next i'm sorry one in the space two and one in your next stitch three and then you're going to chain three again one two three skip one two three and double crochet in your last stitch this is the pattern guys double crochet in your space double crochet in your first stitch yes chain one two three skip one two and three and double crochet in your last stitch okay i'm pretty sure you see the pattern there double crochet in your space and double crochet in your first stitch chain one two and three and let's just do this last one one two three double crochet in your last double in your space and double in your first all right i'm not going to continue because i think you get the picture all right so what i would like for you to do okay is oh it's pulling there get to this corner right here oh, get to the first corner here actually don't get to the corner get to that last second last space there all right and i shall meet you up all right here we are at the end of the row just take out that stitch marker okay all right i did my last chain three and i put one double crochet in my stitch i'm going to pop another double crochet in the space or one double crochet in the space i should say and one in my first stitch and here we're going to do the same chain one two three skip one two and three pop one in the last one in the middle one in the first and you should have one double crochet left chain one and one double crochet chain one two three and one double crochet 
And now you chain one, you skip that one, you jump into your next with a double crochet. Yes, jump into your space with a double crochet. Jump into your stitch with a double crochet. And you guessed it. One, two, three. Skip one, two, three. Jump into your last with a double crochet. And your space. And your first. Chain one, two, three. Skip one, two, three. And continue along your pattern. Super easy, yeah? Super easy. This row is relatively easy. I'll not complain. So that's good. <laughs> Let's show you what you've done. So you can have a quick look-see at your corner, making sure your corner... I'm with my yarn everywhere. Sorry, guys. Making sure your corner looks simply gorgeous. Yes, and it does. So what you're going to do, guys, best bit, you are going to continue in this round all the way. Get to this corner. Do exactly the same thing you just did. Go all the way to, aha, uh -huh, this is where things change. So go all the way to your very last space right here and I shall meet you up. Alrighty, here we are at the end of the row. I've done my last three before that stitch marker. So it's chain one, two and three. And we're double crocheting in that last double crochet. Now take the stitch marker out because that's the space. All right, double crochet in the space and double crochet in that last stitch, which is really quite tight because it's the uh, kind of that stitch that's got your slip stitch in there. Okay, and now you are chaining three. One, two, three, and you are slip stitching to the top of that chain right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are slip stitching across like so, all right? Now, to continue on with the pattern, it's going to change dramatically now. Well, it's not bad dramatic. It's just, you know, it's going to change <laughs> as you do. All right, you are going to slip stitch into that middle double crochet because you've got three double crochets there. So you're slip stitching across there. You're chaining, uh, chaining one, but just giving it a tight chain. A tight tug there and then single crochet in the same space all right now you're chaining one two three and you are double crocheting in that space right in the middle there just one like that chain one two three and in the middle of these three double crochets you are popping a single crochet in that stitch all right so we're doing that again chain one two three double crochet in that space simple yeah one two three single crochet in the middle stitch just remembering what what to pop where okay so at this day just double crocheting in your big space single crocheting in your middle of the stitch there and you're chaining three between each so one two three double crochet in your big space chain one two three single crochet in your middle stitch of those three double crochets and chain one two three double in your big space it's going to be a nice quick row one two three single between your three double crochets chain one two three double in your big space chain one two three single in your medium space in the middle space sorry all right so there you go so get yourself all the way over to i don't know the very large space before your corner and I shall meet you up. Alrighty, here I am at the end of the row. I've done a single in my middle stitch there because that's where my double was and that's where my single is. I've chained my three. I'm going to do a double in the big space like normal. Uh, let me take out that stitch marker for now. Alright. Now you're going to chain two only, one and two, and you're going to pop a double crochet on top of that that 
double crochet from the corner like so and now you're going to put two double crochets or one and two in the space the corner space chain one and two and two double crochets in that corner space as well then you're going to pop a double crochet in your first double crochet chain one and two and here's where your pattern changes i'm sorry here's where your pattern comes back in hello mary wake up here's where your pattern comes back in single crochet in your middle stitch chain one two and three and double crochet in that large space chain one two and three and single crochet in your middle stitch one two three double in your next space big space chain one two three and single in your middle stitch all right so that's what you have done for your corner gorgeous i know right okay so what we're going to do now easy bit guys i actually remembered that i remembered that i forgot that i remembered um i forgot to put a stitch marker in the very first stitch we, we did earlier so let's go back to that very first stitch which was there uh, let's get a close up we'll grab the blue one actually pop that in the actual single crochet remember we slip stitched in this space and then we did a single crochet that's where you need to pop that that was our very first stitch we did for the round all right now you're going to repeat this row all the way until you get to the next corner complete the corner the same way we just did the corner now and then continue that all the way until you get to the stitch marker before the stitch marker <laughs> does that make any sense so until you get to your very first stitch marker because we are going to do some work here all right and then the pattern will change yet again Alrighty guys, here I am at the end of the row. Remember how I told you to get to that first stitch marker? Okay, the first stitch marker is in the double space. So we just perform that single in that top of that middle stitch there. And then one, two, three. Take the stitch marker out for starters. Okay, and then we pop our normal double crochet in there. And then we chain one, two, three. Now, we've already got a single crochet there from the beginning. Take out that stitch marker. Well, that's exactly where you're going to slip stitch to. If it helps you to keep it in there, I'm going to take it out. But I'm going to slip stitch into that single crochet right there. Now, it's a little tricky, this part, because you pop it in the single crochet. But your next round, we've got to start up here in the space, but kind of up there. So really, we need to slip stitch into the chains but not all of them, just some of them. So, see if I can get a nice close up for you so you know what I'm talking about. All right, so this is a single crochet that we are in. Our first chain is there, right? So grab your slip stitch and pull it through into the chain one. Our next chain is there. They're fairly tight. I should have asked you to keep them a little bit loose, but that's okay. Two. Now, the third chain we're not slip stitching into. We're going to actually slip stitch into the space. So go into the space like that. There. Now you are going to chain up one, two, and three. And then you're going to put a double crochet in that top double crochet right there. I'm sorry. No, you're not. You're going to pop that stitch marker in first before you forget like before I forget <laughs> pop it in the top of the third chain deary me oh, I don't know what to do with me in these stitch markers <laughs> pop a double crochet in the top of your double crochet from the previous round now pop a double crochet in the big space right there and then you're going to chain three one two three you're going to skip over all of this and you're going to go right over to that big double crochet area there so you skip over your single crochets your chains everything and you put a double crochet in the space before your double crochet and a double crochet in the double crochet and a double crochet in the next 
space. So really you were just doing your three double crochets there, yeah? So now you're chaining three yet again. One, two, three. Again, you're skipping over all of this. And there's your double crochet from the previous round. You're popping a double crochet before it in the space, a double crochet in it, in the double crochet, and a double crochet after it. And once again, you are chaining three. One, two, three. That is all it is. You just have to remember where you're putting it. You're jumping over your single crochet area, popping just before your double crochet. Put a double crochet there, double crochet in the stitch, double crochet after it, in the space after it, and chaining one, two, and three. And then you are jumping over all of that and you're doing exactly the same. One in a space, one in your stitch, one in a space after the stitch. Chain one, two, three, and so on. So let me show you what it looks like so you know what to expect for the rest of your round. That is what you're looking at. All right, it's, it's like a, a lace, kind of like a lace window look. So now you're starting to get an image of what your pattern should look like. Okay, and your next round will show you the image better as well. So continue in that manner all the way across your row. And let's pop a stitch marker here. <laughs> you didn't see that. <laughs> let's pop a stitch marker in the single crochet before your corner. All right, so continue in that manner and I shall meet you up. All right, guys, here we are at the end of the row. I've done my three double crochets, one before, one on the stitch and one after it. That's just before that last single crochet. So we're going to take out that stitch. We're not at the end of the row. We're at the end of the side. Wake up, Mary. <laughs> Chain one, two and three. All right. So as you can see, we did the three there. So what we're going to do is jump into our first double crochet, our second, and our third. All along that side. And in your space, you're going to put two double crochets, one and two. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Turn your work a little. Chain one and two and two double crochets one and two and then you're going to do the same here double crochet one two and three whoops the poncho is too big now i'm struggling to hold it on the table chain one two and three and then you're going to skip over all of this Pop your double crochet before your double crochet, double crochet in your double crochet, double crochet after your double crochet, and then one, two, three. Skipping over all of this, and once again, you're back into your pattern again. Too simple, yeah? Too simple. I mean, the patterns, they look difficult, but it's just quite, um, um, it's just a matter of repetition, really. Um, one, two, three, jumping over, one, two, and three. All right, so what I want you to do, continue in that manner until you get to, oh, I hope I put stitch markers in this time. <laughs> I have a funny feeling I didn't. Oh, I did. There you go. <laughs> continue. Wake up, Mary. <laughs> continue in that manner until you get to your next corner. Repeat the corner that we just did and then go all the way over to our next stitch marker and just before your next stitch marker, I'm going to pop another one in so you know where we're at. This is where I want you to finish. Okay, that is your last one. That's the first one we did. All right, this is your last set. So you're going to put your last double crochet set there. Actually, you know what? Pop it in there in the space. Do your last double crochet set there and wait for me there. All right. All righty. Here we are at the end of the row. Okay. All right. So what I did here, 
I put my last three in and there's our stitch marker, the first one. All right, we're going to take that out. This is the one we're slip stitching into. Okay, so really over all this, you need to chain three. One, two and three. And there is your next set that we should be doing. But because it's already done, we're just going to slip stitch. <laughs> if I can get my hook in there, you know what, I'm going to have to take that stitch marker out. But do yourselves a favour. Don't do these stitches so tight. <laughs> Here we go. We're in. We're in. All right. So slip stitch across. So you've got your three set there, your chain, and then your three sets there. All right. So here... You are going to chain up, oh am I that close, sorry guys, you're going to chain up three, one, two, three, pop your stitch marker in like so and guess what, you're going to do another chain, all right, now you're going to skip this next double crochet, now I'm too far away aren't I, I can't win today, <laughs> skip that next double crochet Pop a double crochet in your last one of that, that three set. Okay, whoops. Now, in that three chain space, you are putting three double crochets. One, two, three. Now you're putting a double crochet in your first double crochet. Chain one. Skip that middle one, jump into your next one with a double crochet and then three double crochets in this space. Two and three. I'll show you what you're doing in a minute. Double crochet into your first double crochet. Chain one and then double crochet into your third one. So skipping that second one and then you're doing your three double crochets one two and three all in that space and I'll show you exactly what you're doing so you can see the picture here and understand what you're doing okay so what you're doing remember this row our five double crochets chain one that is exactly what you're doing here but you're doing them in those big spaces so three of your double crochets go in the big space one goes in each one of the first and last stitch and then you've got your chain and you're skipping your middle stitches and then you're starting your cluster sets again so i hope you understand what that means i might just try another two sets for you just so you get it i'm sure you do but just in case so here we are we need to do one two three four we need to do another double crochet in that very first stitch all right now you've got your two stitches there you're chaining one you're skipping one and you're jumping into your last stitch from that previous round there and then you are popping three double crochets in your big space big chain space two and three put one in the stitch chain one and skipping your middle space jumping into your next I'm sorry, skipping the middle stitch, jumping into your next stitch. All right, so continue in that manner all the way along until you get to your first corner. And I'll pop a stitch marker here just before the first corner. So we'll pop it in that last stitch right there, just before the corner. There's your corner stitches right there. All right, and I shall meet you up. All righty, guys, here we are at the end of the row. Now, I have done my last five, and then I chained one, did my last double crochet in that first, did my first double crochet in that last space. Wake up, Mary. And now I'm going to do my normal three double crochets in the big space. One, two, three. Just take out this stitch marker right here. Okay, and you're going to do your last double crochet there for now. All right, now we're going to chain two, one and two, and skip that one, two, and pop a double crochet in your third, without splitting the yarn like I just did. Dear me. Double in your next, which is your last, 
for the corner before the corner and then you're just going to put one double crochet in the corner chain one two and three and then one double crochet in that corner and then remember that stitch where you have to really move everything out the way for you're going to put one double crochet in the first or one in your second chaining one and two skip one and two pop one in the first three in that space one two and three one in your next chaining one one in your last and three in your space so you are back to the pattern that you started off with at the beginning of the row two three and one in the next i'm just going to stop it there so i can show you where you are and in actual fact i'm going to show you the point of the blanket because i never really did i say blanket <laughs> i meant poncho wake up mary i've got blanket on the brain maybe we need to do another blanket what do you reckon guys <laughs> i'm more trouble than i'm worth aren't i so that's the opposite side i wanted to show you that because it's all complete there so that's how your work should lay if there's something like that happening and no matter how you straightened it, it still looked like that, then there's something wrong in the corner. Well, let me show you the other side. Pop them both together so you can see what the difference is. I don't know if I can get them both together at the same time. It's hard to turn them around like that. But anyway, there you go. <laughs> I tried. I tried. All right. All right. How gorgeous do they look? I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating, but, you know, that happens with me. <laughs> so guess what, guys? Easy part. Easy part. Continue in that manner. Ah, uh, get to this. Oh, wrong side. <laughs> Let's try the other way. <laughs> Continue in that manner. I don't know what I've done here. Hello. Wake up. Here we go. Continue in that manner. Do the next corner. Ta-da. Exactly the way you did this corner. And then go to uh, this stitch marker right here. Or maybe this space just before it. Let's go into that space right there. All right. There's your stitch marker. Go into that space there. So get to your first stitch marker and I shall meet you up. Oh, very exciting. Alrighty, guys, here we are at the end of the row. Now I've started that, you know, I've chained one, pop my last double crochet in that stitch there. Oh, that's too far away, isn't it, guys? Sorry. All right. Now, in that very next space or the same space, we're going to put our three double crochets. So we're still in pattern here. Okay. Two, whoops, two and three. And then we're still in pattern here. One. Chain one. Skip into the next, which is one. And hold it there for a second so I can show you what we're doing. Plus I need to get my thread. <laughs> All right. So this is our pattern where we've got our double crochet, chain one, double crochet. All right. Then we've got the one, two, three, four, five, and that's there again. So that's your double crochet, your chain one, and your double crochet. So here what you need to do is do your three double crochets in your big space. One, two, and three. All right, that is your next double crochet right there. So your chains are your next double crochet. So you pop your hook, oh, I'm going to take my slip stitch out, stitch marker out, sorry. Oh, get it right, Mary. And I'm going to slip stitch into that stitch where the stitch marker was, all right? We're going to pull a loop through and pull it through to the loop on your hook, all right? So that is your three and that's your one, all right? Now you're going to chain one, two and three. Pop that stitch marker back in or any stitch marker you can find. It doesn't matter. They're all the same. And there you go. Now, that one belongs to there. So remember your space. You're going to pop a double crochet in your space. One in your first stitch. One in your next stitch. Chain one. 
Now you're going to form that space here. So skip one, jump into your next. One in your last. So you can have a look, see what you've done. One, two, three, four. Now your fifth one is going to be here, is going to be in that last stitch on the way back. All right. So now we are going to pop a double in that first one. I mean, sorry, in that space, a double in your first one and a double in your second one. And there is your one, two, three, four, five. You're in the middle of this cluster set from, whoops, sorry, let's try it there. <laughs> this cluster set from below. Okay, so now you're chaining one, skipping that middle stitch, going into your second last stitch. Whoops. Okay, one, and going into your last, and then popping into that chain space with one, and then one into your first, or one into your second, chain one, skip the middle, jump into your second last, jump into your last, and then into the middle okay so you know this part you've been doing it for i don't know how many rows now two or three rows <laughs> well you did it in the first two rows as well i think all right so i'm not going to show you anymore i think you know what you're doing but what i am going to show you is once again pop your stitch marker in your first corner actually no take it out of the corner Pop it in the space just before the corner because that space, let me get a nice close up for you. That space there is a two chain space and that's going to be different. All right. So go ahead and continue this side until you get to this corner and I shall meet you up. All righty guys, there's our chain space. I've done my last five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm chaining one skipping one like I usually do do the one and the two now ordinarily you would put one double crochet in there you're going to put two so one in that space and two taking out that stitch marker by the way there you go now the next stitch you are putting one double crochet so in actual fact, you've got your one, two, three, four, five. You're chaining one, you're skipping one, and you're popping a double crochet in your last double crochet. All right. And then you are putting a double crochet in that space. One and two. Chain one. I'm sorry. And two. Get it right, Mary. And then putting two double crochets back into that corner. One and two you're putting one double crochet in your first stitch you're chaining one and you're skipping that middle stitch again remember then you're popping one in your last stitch and in this space you're only putting two double crochets or one and two because there's only two chains there then you're putting a double crochet in your first stitch and one in your second stitch this is where you're starting your pattern again right now chain one jump into your very next stitch i'll explain what I've, what you've done in a minute and then one into your next and then you're going to continue with one double crochet and then two double crochets chain space skip two double crochets and the same all the way across so that is pretty much what you've done in that corner all right what I would like for your to do is a simple part, guys. Continue in this manner. Do this corner the same way we've done that one there. And then I shall meet you up right here. We're going to pop our stitch marker, the first one. There's two there. Well, there's going to be two there in a second. There's your one in your stitch. But right in that space just before the stitch. So meet me at that very first stitch marker. And then we'll talk about what we're going to do next. Get excited, guys. Things are about to change. Alrighty, guys. Here we are at the end of the row. I've done my last five double crochets. Chain one. We're skipping one. And we're going to pop a double crochet in that second last one. Oh, one in the last one. 
it's a bit uncomfortable because I've got this stitch marker here. I'm going to take it out. <laughs> it's driving me batty. All right. So there we go. So that's two double crochets. A one in there makes that three in the space. One in your first stitch. Four. One in your second stitch, which is five. So you've got your one, two, three, four, five. Chaining one like normal. We are skipping one. We are jumping into that stitch right there before our end of the row. So jump into your last double crochet. All right. Now all you're doing is you are slip stitching at the top of that stitch. But don't pull your loop through. What? I hear you ask. Guess what we're doing? We're going back to the same green that we started off with in the beginning of the row. What? This is different, they're saying. What? I know, right? I know. <laughs> Oops, get the pink out the way. <laughs> get that naughty pink out the way. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, well, I'm, I'm all caught up here. I don't know what I've done. Hello. Let me pause the video for a second. Alrighty, let's grab our dark green. Pull that loop through. I know this is a very long tutorial, guys. Just pull that slip stitch through but I wanted to get all of this in one take because your next part part six um, there's going to be some changes oh look, I've pulled that too too far down all right so now holding your cream and your green chaining whoops <laughs> chaining one let's get a nice close-up sorry guys and you are doing a single crochet that's correct, not a double crochet, in the same space. I'm giving it all that a tug. All right. Now, a single crochet in your very next stitch, one. Single in your next two. Single in your next three. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to put a stitch marker in that single crochet. <gasps> Shh, don't tell anyone. We'll just do it now. Maybe they didn't see. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. Single in your space. One. Single in your first. Two. And then three. And then four. And then five. And then six. And then space. All right. I'm going too fast. Sorry, guys. I'll slow it down. Single in that first stitch. Second third, fourth, fifth, space, all right, first, I might have said six before, but don't worry about that, second, <laughs> third, fourth, fifth, and then space, and your first is right next to that space, all right, so don't miss that or you'll be one short. One, two, three, four, five, and one in the space. All right, I'm sure you're getting the picture. You are doing that all the way across. Let's bring that up a little bit so you all can see. We're putting a stitch marker right in that space before the corner. All right. And I shall meet you up. Alrighty, guys, I've come right across here and done my five single crochets just before that space. Take out your stitch marker. Now, if you remember correctly, in that space is only one chain. So you're doing one single crochet. And then you're doing one in that first stitch right there. One. One in your next. And one in your third and in that center right there you are putting two single crochets one and two chain one and two and two single crochets one and two moving your single crochets over because you want to get your first single crochet in that stitch right there one two oops and three the reason I'm awkward is because my poncho is not on the table <laughs> there you go that's better and now you are putting a single crochet in your space 
one in your first stitch remember near the space second third fourth and fifth one in the space pull up that loop you know why because i think you know what you are doing all right you are going to do exactly oh i'm sorry put that out we're going to do exactly that all the way across get to your corner popping in your two 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 single crochets chain two two single crochets in fact just copying that corner there get to <laughs> that stitch marker and i shall meet you up all right you guys here we are at the end of the row i've done my last five single crochets i've got my space right there you need to pop a single crochet in your space but this is still a stitch and i know that our little thread is pulling there but you need to put a single crochet in that stitch right there it's still a stitch a single crochet goes in there then you're going to pop your hook through pull the green through pull it through take that stitch marker out and you're starting to panic aren't you don't panic <laughs> you're thinking what is she up to <laughs> i'll tell you what i'm up to two things one that is the end of part five what <laughs> they're thinking seven hours later <laughs> and the second thing is guess what for the first time in our whole poncho tutorials all of the parts for the first time ever we are going to cut our cream <gasps> what absolutely we are cutting our cream <laughs> and you're thinking what is she up to <laughs> you're about to find out oh, i don't know what i've done here threads everywhere let's take the cream out the way let's get rid of the, the the green we'll hide that at the back i'll show you where we are up to and i'll show you why i've taken the cream undone all right so oh, it's a big mess now <laughs> sorry guys Let me bring that right out and there you go all right so so far this is what you have with your poncho it's starting to get really big now so i can't fit it all in to continue our pattern we need to do two things one we need to find out how long we want our poncho to be now everyone has different sizes and we all like uh, different lengths for our poncho all right two we need to fix up to decide our length we need to fix up our neck part first all right so what you're going to do this cream right here which is not much of as you can see we've been using a lot of it or whatever color you use i know some people were using greens blues browns whatever in the meantime we are going to use this cream for part six of our tutorial and that will be adding a neckline to your poncho i'll show you how to decrease it to make it smaller because i made this part here nice and loose and big and off the shoulders so that you can um so that it can fit everyone okay and then for those of you who are a lot smaller and like me my shoulders are a lot lower and that happens with age <laughs> heads up <laughs> my shoulders are a lot lower um and so i need to tighten up my work there are two different ways we can do that and we'll discuss that on wednesday's live in the meantime we are using this for our neckline first then we will pop our poncho on and we will decide how much length we want okay for those of you who are short like myself you may find that this is the perfect size and you don't need to do any more for the rest of us even though i say rest of us because i know i prefer mine a little bit uh, longer we are going to continue there however this is where we have used lots and lots of cream in our work okay we are going to start using some color I'm not going to talk about what we're doing yet we will talk about that on Wednesdays or Fridays I'm sorry let's try that again Wednesdays or Saturdays lives hello I'm making this up as I go along we have a Wednesday afternoon live at 4 p.m. and a Saturday mornings live at 10 a.m. Melbourne Australia time of course and we will be discussing what is going to happen next for our poncho I mean it's looking simply stunning so thank you so much for watching you have been watching mary at well crochet we are on part five we did part five of our mystery poncho rustaman vibrations and we will be doing part six which will be our collar 
very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share into all those wonderful things that you do for me. And I'm puffed out after this tutorial. <laughs> Ciao for now.